Bless your heart, amen. Yeah. I'm conscious. I'm still going trick or treat. I'm going to fuck with you, you know what I'm talking about. Let's put a big salmon in the building, smoke a Pringle. You feel me? Well, look. So. I'm going to some other stuff today. I'm going to capitalize on something real quick. Top of the AM. Big shouts out to everybody that's interested in the RV idea. He said, I hate how you chew. What, I'm supposed to chew like a white person? Hmm. Exquisitely. The fuck? That's why y'all niggas can't dance. Y'all don't know how to get the flavor out of stuff. The fuck? You put a chew like a white person. Man, black people get all the juice. What you talking about? My mama. Anywho. Sam, you already know. We, man, man. I ain't about to be playing no games, my nigga. Fuck that. I'm gonna get all my flavors. No, oh, mama. But look, though. Alright. Hold on. You know, when black people choose stuff, we get sentimental. God, when black people be eating, we really be filling ourselves. God, we be getting all the juices. Oh God, a black nigga be ready to give up life when he be eating. Oh my God. You made this? I'm sick. But look. Alright, so. Shouts out to Shouts out to everybody. Can't hear it? Y'all can't hear me? Hold on, man. What you mean? Shit, nigga said he can't hear shit. Y'all can hear me, right? I don't mm. But look. Right. Y'all can hear me, right? Just make sure. Turn it down a little bit. All right, cool. So, look. um, Big shouts out to everybody that that most definitely wanted to support the RV thing. Shouts out to everybody. Um, uh, a few people sent a few large amounts, and I made sure I refunded everybody who sent large amounts, like to the other people who wanted to donate like a dollar or two dollars or whatever. If that's what you want to do, cool. I'll send that back to you too. But to all the people that donated large amount, a few people sent two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, whatever. I sent everybody their money back. And I'm still sending everybody money back right now. And one of the reasons why I did what I did yesterday is I just wanted to see who was serious and who wasn't serious. And this just let me know that there is a few people who were serious. Yo, good good looks, bro. But I just wanted to let I just wanted to see with the people who were serious and people who wasn't serious. So for the most part I spent all money, I spent all today sending people their money back. And if you are one of the people that got your money back, I know you probably was like, damn, what the fuck? They like don't want, no, nah, it ain't that I don't want you. It's just I want to see who was serious and who wasn't. I keep telling you I don't really need the money. I just want to see who's serious and who's not serious. And um, just let me know there's a lot of people that were serious. There's a few people that was actually very serious, you know. A lot of people that was actually very serious. So, shouts out to y'all that was really... Re I had one person, one person from, like, Germany or somewhere was like, Yo, Day, I'm not going to be able to make it, but, you know what I mean, here's, like, 3000 on the bus. Nigga send me 3000 for the bus. I said, Nah, man, you take your money back, bro. Like, it ain't even that serious right now. So most niggas would have just kept the bread and been like, well, fuck it, you know what I mean? But nah, bro, it's deeper than that. 
is what I'm trying to do is deeper than all of that shit, bro. So to the people that's serious and to the people that showed me that they are serious, most definitely I, I got emails. I got I got everybody's email. If you can, most definitely send the email to daylightbusiness at gmail dot com. If I didn't get back to you, send the email to daylightbusiness at gmail dot com and I'm most definitely gonna move your email to one of the folders that I have all the serious people in. So before we start putting actual money into the scenario i want to get everybody on like a multiple call i want to get everybody on the business call maybe we could do tiny chat or we could do some form of chat service where we could pull multiple people in and i want to get everybody familiar with everybody i want to make sure everybody is tied all the way in i want to see everybody's habits i want to see everybody's like mentality i want to see if niggas can communicate i want to see how people can talk to each other because i don't want y'all to look at this like hey they like put something together i want it to be like hey we put something together I don't want it to be like, hey, this is what Daylight do and we're all Daylight minions. I don't want that. I want it to be, hey, this is what we did together. Us as a, it ain't no boss, ain't no middleman, ain't no lower class nigga, ain't no nothing. It's something that we put together. So I want everybody to feel entitled. I don't want everybody to feel like they just gave up something and then they just going to sit and what. No, everybody feel entitled so everybody put it together. So, so. Once we get all the people that I'm for sure was serious, 100% serious about it, we're going to get about 15 to 20 people. Then we're going to have like the call or the call or, or not even the call. We'll have a tiny chat group and we'll have before we even start putting money completely in the pot. We're going to have the tiny chat sessions or we're going to have the group sessions. If some people are located, a few people are located in California, we can most meet up, most definitely meet up. But for the most part, we're going to try to get some trips together to where we can go out and we can all come first to start with tiny chat from tiny chat or social media or whatever. We can most definitely link up if we can set a destination. Everybody can fly out. It's only two hundred, three hundred dollars to fly out. Everybody can fly out. And we can all have a meet and talk about it, discuss further things, yada, yada, yada. We can start the first day of filming, the first day of all that shit, whatever. So, that's the plan. So, shouts out to everybody. Shouts out to the people that show me they're serious. Shouts out to all the other motherfuckers that just want to talk. Somebody just asked me, am I a vegan? No, I am not a vegan. I don't really care about going vegan. I don't really care about none of that. I would tell you I was vegan at one point in my life. I was vegan for seven years. One of the reasons why I gave up is I went deeper inside the matrix and I realized that 90 .5, 99 and 95.5% of the fruits and veggies in America is completely fake. And if they're not fake, they're pesticide, GMO, they're not even real. So... One of the reasons why I gave up vegan because if I'm not planting my own food, then it ain't. I don't even trust where it's coming from. If a store sells poison, it's not gonna sell you healthy shit right next to the poison. It doesn't make any sense. So Whole Foods is a scam. All the grocery markets is a scam. 95.5 percent of the 99.9.5 percent of the fruits and veggies are completely fake. Um, bananas have seeds in them. There is no bananas with seeds nowhere. None of these fruits are these colors. Apples should not be shiny. None of all these fruits have wax on it. Everything is all broken. So I told myself I'm going to try to plant my own garden. I tried to plant my own garden. Even the seeds was GMO that I got from the store. I got fake ass seeds. I don't even, man, you got to move out the country, move in the rainforest if you want to go real live vegan. Other than that, it's absolutely pointless. You want to say daylight want big meat, you will be blocked. So it's absolutely pointless. If you really believe that you can go vegan in America, you only tricking yourself and lying to yourself to believe you are eating better. You're not. Sorry to make your whole life feel bad, but it's the truth. You're not. So... That's why I gave up being vegan. And on top, when I was super vegan, I used to be weak as fuck. Like weak, like body-wise, I used to be weak. And one of the reasons why I was weak is because the vegetables don't have the right nutrients inside of them because they're not real. So, 
Tofu is horrible. Soy is horrible. All this shit is hor. Man, it's horrible. It's a man. It's more fucked up shit in the vegan world than the actual meat world, bro. I'm telling you. So, I realized that like, like it ain't about what you eat. I'm gonna tell y'all this. It's never about what you eat. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. It's not about what you eat. It's about what you put in your mind. Your body is going to take what it could take regardless based on how you think. And then it's going to booboo out the waste. So what I'm saying is this. Feed your mind. Feed your mind before you feed your belly, bro. Sit. Feed your mind before you feed your belly. Because, like, once you start really thinking outside the box, bro, like none of this shit matters, bro. I had to really tell myself, like, whether you vegan, whether you eat meat, you're going to die the same way. And you're going to die around the same age. So, I don't, it don't really matter, man. Eat whatever the fuck you want to eat. It ain't no point of eating. It ain't no point of eating healthy when you watch Bad Girls Club every day and Walking Dead. It's no point. So, at the end of the day, my nigga, I was trying to move to the Amazon rainforest, bitch. I went. They burnt ninety five percent of it. It's about three trees left in the Amazon rainforest. Man, they fuck it over the whole planet. Man, they already fucked over all the natural reserves. It's over. You niggas fucked up the whole earth. It's over. Uh, so I told myself, I've been on another diet, though. I've been on a whole another diet, though. Niggas be like, yo, what they like be eating when he not really online? I, I got a whole another diet. I ain't going to tell y'all, though, because y'all niggas going to try to steal my shit. So niggas be like, yo. Especially when I shave up, niggas be like, yo, Daylight still look like he about 20-something. Nigga, I'm about to be 40 in a couple of more years. Want me to tell you what I eat every blue moon? Jellyfish. Yeah, jelly. Oh, God, jellyfish is the key to life. They immortal. A jellyfish could turn itself back into a baby whenever he want to. Oh, God, I eat jellyfish, G. Peanut butter and jellyfish. Man, go to the beach, catch you some jellyfish. Not the box jellyfish, the other ones that ain't poisonous. Oh, God. Fry them. Jellyfish. I don't know how you looking right. You be young forever. Oh, God. Man, get you some jellyfish nuggets. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yo, but on some real shit, my man said, yo. My man said, alkaline. What is that? What is alkaline? Y'all don't even be listening to the words. Alkaline. These niggas lying. Look, you got to listen to the words that's being said in these shits. Alkaline. They lying. Okay? This bullshit, man. I went in 7-Eleven. They talking about, try some new alkaline pH 95 water. Man, you don't get this bullshit out of tap water about it. Look, my nigga. Stop falling for the fuckery. This whole alkaline and this, all this vegan shit, man, this shit is a way to get over y'all and all y'all money. Y'all paying extra money for bullshit and water. Man, I had some, uh, I went and bought some pH 95 alkaline water. Man, I said, what the fuck is this? Man, this bullshit. All this shit bullshit. Look. People talking about fasting, all right? He said fasting. What about fasting? You're not listening to the words. Fast in. Fast in what? Fast in the ground. You're going to go fast in the ground for not eat, bitch. Try not to eat a couple of days, bitch. You're going to be ready to die. That's why they call it fasting. Y'all don't be looking at the words that say 
fast in. Fast in what? Fast in the ground for not eating. On the set, you niggas got to start listening to the words, bro. I'm not fasting for nothing, you crazy. On the set, I didn't have no food growing up. I'd be damned if I take time out of my life not to eat, bitch. I grew up hungry. I grew up hungry. I didn't have nothing coming up. You think I'm going to take time out of my precious life, man? I bust my ass to get some dollars to make some food. You think I'm going to take time out of my life to not eat? You crazy. You crazy. I'm not about to take time out of my life to not eat purposely. My man said fast and make you live longer. All right. I hear you. My nigga, you ever look at niggas who be fasting? Them niggas be old as fuck. Yeah, fuck that. Elephants eat every day. They live for many years. Bitch, whales and all that, they eat every day. I never seen an animal. I never seen an animal say, oh, I ain't going to eat for about three weeks. Unless it's like a snake or something, you know, God, a snake will eat a whole deer. Man, I'm not eating for three weeks. I'm cool. i never seen an animal that eat once every five months because it's trying to be on a diet. Never. And I'm going by Mother Nature. Mother Nature say you better eat every five seconds. Oh, God, I need some snacks. Man, where the chips at? Check it out. I need some snacks. Fuck you talking about, oh, God. I be chilling. I be like, man, that nigga ain't got no Doritos around here somewhere. Man, hey, hey, man, send a runner to the store and get some hot Cheetos. Man, the fuck you talking about? My mama. Man, I need my snacks on the set. Man, cookie or something. Oh, God. Yeah, all right. Man, look. I ain't with all this fake-ass conscious shit. I'm going to tell y'all exactly what I do. Oh, God, man. I eat. Man, I was skinny my whole life. Skinny. I'm talking about 195 pounds in the 12th grade. I was skinny. On the set, you think I'm going to wait till I get enough money to eat and stop eating? Man, I went out with Punch the other day. Oh, God, Punch, I'm like, what you going to get? Man, let me get five Flamet Mignons. What the? Man, look, I don't even know how to say it. That's how you know I'm from the, man, Flamet. Flamet Mignons. What, how you say it? I don't even know how to. Filet? Filet. Man, I don't even know how to say it. Oh, God, man, let me get the Flamets. Let me get two Flamet Mignons. Oh, God. And I'm eating. He talking about, what size you want? Man, I want the 16 ounce. He said, no, they thick. They like, trust me. Man, let me get the 16 ounce Flamet. On the set. Man, I was big, big eating. What are you talking about? I'm not never about to just get to the top and let that nigga start eating. Hey, man, let me get the filet beyond, man. What the fuck you talking about? I was on the set. But nah, right? Look, let's go back into some other stuff, though. Let's switch the subject. Let's switch the topic. Let's switch the topic. Um, I'm going to jump in this real quick. And I'm going to say this loud and clear. And I'm going to say, listen to me. I'm going to say this loud and clear. And I'm going to say it loud and clear. And I'm going to say this loud and clear with all my heart. And I want you to really listen to what I'm about to say. This new Earl Sweatshirt project is hot garbage. And if any nigga say I'm hating, you a fucking lie. Don't lie, my nigga. This shit is hot boo-boo juice, bro. This is like premium mumble rap. Shit trash, bro. If any nigga saying that this is fire, you are the problem with people's lives and you really don't care about Earl as a person. 
if you saying that this album is fire, you don't care about Earl's as a person. Like, you don't care about him. And you actually want to see him fail. If you saying that this project is dope, you actually want to see him, like, go into a, a hole. You don't care about it. You really don't care about him as a human being. You don't care. You don't care. No, 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 no. You really don't care about him as a person if you saying that this album is dope. Dog. I'm a rapper. And I'm a fan. And I have every right to be mad. My nigga, the beats off, the sampling off, the mixing off, everything is wrong. I, this gotta be a joke. Like, I, I feel like this is a joke album, and he really about to drop some real shit. I feel like this is like a joke. It got to be a joke. I think this album a joke. Like, it got, it's a, tr it's a troll album, and he about to drop some, that's all I could, that's all I kept telling myself. I'm like, this got to be a troll album, and he about to drop some real shit eventually. Like, it got to be, this, this can't be real. It can't be. It can't be, bro. Look, I fuck with Earl. I think he is a dope lyricist. I think Earl is fire. I would love to work with Earl. But this gotta be a j This can't be no real. Bro. It can't be. It can't be no real project. I'm sorry. It just can't be. And I, if Warner Brothers allow him to put this out, they really don't care about him as a human being. Can't be. Other than that, shouts out to Earl. I think somebody need to call Earl and check on him and see if he's okay. Because this music sounds like he's going through something, something personally in life. To me, it sounds like he lost in the sauce. Something happened to him dramatically. Trust me, I'm tapped in. Something happened to Earl dramatically. Something happened to him. I don't know what happened. Something happened to him, and is he he's lost, bro. I could hear it. He lost, bro. He lost in the sauce. Either he lost or this a troll album. It's either it's only two options. He lost or it's a troll album. It's it's something going. It's either. Either he lost as a troll album, and if it's not a troll album, then he lost. But I don't think a person in, in Earl's position... Oh, his pops died? Oh, shit, well, that's what it is, then. I didn't know that. I didn't know his pops died. I'm actually going to reach out to him. I had no idea his pops passed. Yeah, it, it's showing, bro. Uh, a strong part of him is missing, and it's showing in the music. It's showing hard. He got to get outside. Nah, he got to get outside. That's it. He got to get outside. His friends have to take him to an amusement park or something. He has to get another part of happiness back in his life. He got to get outside. R.I.P. to Earl Pops, dog. I had no idea. He got to get outside, though. That's it. He got to get back into a happier spirit. Got to take some walks, get outside, go live, talk to the fans. Because the more, when you have problems like that, the more you sit in the house and become away from everybody, the more your mind, like, double up on your ideas. And before you know it, you can lose touch of what reality is. He got to get outside, bro. You got to get outside. You got to walk with the people. You got to talk to the people. You got to touch them hands. You got you to get out, bro. Got to get out. What I take from the album, it seemed like he had so many ideas that he couldn't stretch them out. Right? 
Me, sometimes I have maximum ideas and I'd be like, I should just do all that, right? And then I'd be like, no, some of that got to be saved for this. Like when I listen to the beats, I listen to the vocals, I listen to everything in the whole and I'm like, his mind, like to me, this Earl project sound like static. But you know how like when you cut the TV on, like before we had cable and all that, you cut the TV on before you turn to a right channel, it's just like the little staticky shit. You know it's a picture back there, you know it's something. And you like trying to like, you know how you had to turn the knob a little bit to try to get like the right That's what I felt like. I was like, yo, I gotta turn it a little bit. I was like trying and I know he was trying to get a like a message, or it was staticky. It was very staticky, and I feel like that's a result of how his mind is. Like your music can only reflect what's going on inside your mind, inside your heart. So I think mentally he's very staticky right now. Don't really have a clear heart, a clear vision. And static, static. The music is static. It like you can't listen to it. It's hard to listen to. I was trying. There's a few beats that ain't even on beat. I was like, you know, because like hip hop got a little boom, boom, boom. You know, I was trying. I'm like, yo, I can't catch where the beat. So, I said, damn. If y'all can, go check out the new Earl. I'm doing Max promo. I want y'all to go check it out. And I think fans, we as hip-hop, we as people of hip-hop, I think we got to take more responsibility for our fellow hip-hop brothers. Earl is a, a, a he one of them niggas in hip-hop. So, I think we as hip-hop deities... We got to take responsibility for our hip-hop brothers and we got to know when to lift them up and tell them what's right and what's not right. And in all actuality, people in Earl's camp, especially Tyler, the creators and all them niggas, them niggas need to talk to bro, bro. They got to take Brother Magic Mountain. Tyler and all them, they got to take Earl the Magic Mountain, bro. They got to get Earl out, out. Or whoever, who, whatever camp he in. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really in the hip hop world like that to understand who in what camp. Niggas got to get Earl out the house, bro. That album sound like a hermit album. You know niggas do become hermits where they just stay in the house and just pack everything in? The album sound like a hermit album, bro. It does. It sound like a hermit album, bro. Like he just literally inside a shell just, give me these little samples. Give me a sample and just put the sample on top of that one and that one. Oh. Little Hermit album, bro. Earl got to get out. Nah, he's boxed in mentally. Like, it's it's kind of sad. So, I feel like... Like, I sent everybody a text this morning. All the real niggas that matter. You know, from my nigga Soul. I talked to Joey. Talked to a lot of niggas. Talked to Fly. Talked to Royce Lou. Every I talked to everybody about this shit. And I said, we... We already losing this war to non-rap niggas. We losing this war to non-rap niggas. We got to all reach out. Everybody, We can't just let a nigga fall like this. We got to reach out. Everybody got to reach out, bro. And we got to get, bro, in a more creative spirit. Niggas got to reach out, bro. He one of us. Earl, one of us, bro. We got soldiers. It's soldiers that fight for the better and it's soldiers that fight for the worse. He one of us and we can't let bro fall like this. Because you know what happened when niggas start saying you fell off and that become a thing to say? And then it's going to be a thing to say. So, we got to really help bro. Like as a collective, niggas got to help bro. 
niggas got to really, really take, you know, not musically, not none of that. It's bigger than that. I don't want niggas to pull up on no studio and be like, yo, Earl, I'm going to pull up and chop it up. No. Got to get bro outside in some, in some happy shit, bro. And they got to hit the park. And they got to hit the skate park. Watch some ducks or something. They got to do something. It ain't got nothing to do with the music. It got to be out. You just got to get out in the world, bro. Your mind got to be stimulated. They got to take some trips to travel. Let's do some shit, bro. You just got to get in the world. Niggas got to go pick bro up. I never met Earl. I know people that know him, and we have a lot of the same mutual friends, but I never met him personally. And if I never met you personally, that let me know you like inside a shell, because I'll be, I'll maneuver. So, nigga just need to get out and get some sunlight. That's a fact. Look. Here's the thing. People are going to love this album, so it's a win-win for him. You know what? You are a problem. Get out. People who have that mentality, I don't even want to be affiliated with you. I don't even want to be affiliated with you. Don't even think like that. No, niggas got to tell him the truth. Get out. You gotta tell them the truth. Ain't no win-win. It is a lose, my nigga. Because I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. We are going through an epic rap shift. We're going through a mega shift. And inside this shift, right? Not only going through a shift, we're going through a shift. And inside this shift, motherfuckers need to be told the truth. It's bigger than rhyming words. It's bigger than just putting words together. It's bigger than just making some random shit sound good. We're going through a shift where it's based on what you say, how you say it, and the message has to be conveyed to the people who really, really fuck with it. So, right now, my nigga, you know who album Fire? Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib. That album is nuts. The Fred, That new Freddie is nuts, bro. That's what we need. You want me to tell you why that new Freddy is nuts? Because Freddy is in a happy place. He's in a happy place. So the album shows happiness inside of lyricism on top of what he's saying and what he's talking about. This is what I'm saying, bro. We got to get Earl out the house. We got to get Earl out the house, bro. That's it. Nigga just got to get out the house and take some trips, bro. That's important, my nigga. That's it. So now we off that. Let's move on, right? Let's move on to... Um. Wait, I, I seen some. Somebody said, what you know about astral, astral projection or like what? Um, I know a lot about it. Uh, I use it a lot, especially when I'm battle rapping. Um, yeah, most definitely I use it a lot when I'm battle rapping. I use it in most definitely a lot of ways when I'm in like life or death scenarios. Um, don't tell me to look up combat. I already talked to combat and we got stuff in the works. Listen, rule number one, you don't have to force Listen to me, fans. You don't have to force anybody in anybody else's career because people who push the same message, we all talk behind the scenes already. Combat is my guy. I got his phone number directly, and we most definitely got shit. He sent me a track. I already got to send him back the stems. I'm just waiting on my shit to come through to send him back the beat, whatever, yada, yada, yada. We got shit in the works. People who fight in this war, we already talk to each other behind the scenes. Combat is nice as fuck. So what I'm trying to do, I'm waiting on some other shit. I got my team. My team reached out to K Rhino. So I'm trying to do some shit with me, Asso, Combat, K Rhino, Lupe, a few more motherfuckers, right? Motherfuckers trying to put together this super, super shit. Right? 
So, um, yeah, we got stuff in the works, man. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in the works. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, now, um, uh, yeah, that should be wild, right? Me, Absol, K Rhino, Combat, Lupe, and a few more other ones. That should be wild. But look, so I'm in the works, bro, and I'm a, I'm gonna say this. I'm going to say this loud and clear, and I know this is going to offend a lot of people, but we in a, a time where the era, we're in an era where times are changing. Even the hip-hop niggas are about to fade away. Look, we're in a time where the era is changing. You got random people asking about astral projection. You got random people asking about eating health. You got random people questioning life right now and was everything we were taught wrong. And they are now searching for somebody to give them the answers. So we are in an era where even rapper rappers are going to disappear, bro. We're in the era where rap is going back to being a teacher. When you are a rapper, you are a teacher. And in all actuality, what are you teaching the people you are listening to? There is a lot of hip-hop niggas who rap about absolutely nothing. A lot. There is a lot of hip-hop niggas who rap about absolutely nothing. A lot. Them niggas, it's time for them niggas to leave too. Nathan. Absolute Nathan, bro. There's a lot of microphone checkers who rap about nothing. There's a lot of high level mumble rappers, bro. It's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of high level mumble rappers, and this shit is starting to be played out. We're going through an air switch where people want to hear something, bro. Niggas want to hear truth. Niggas want to question reality. Nigga, we're going through an age where niggas want to hear or date. Like, a lot of kids are lost in this era. So, they're looking for answers. And they're looking up to their favorite people to guide them down the right place. Motherfucker, if you heard a song on the radio that was like, yeah, meditate. Nigga, I meditate to get my vibes right. The astral pernick or the side, like... Meditate to get my vibes right. Ash or project with my side eye. Nigga, run away from the sign eye. Kundalini color like a tie dot. You feel me? I ain't felt the same since my God died. Man, I, you get what I'm saying? We're going through a different era where people are like, yo, he talking that shit. I want to hear that shit. Fight the rage like the sage. I know, I'm going to type the page right the Man, we in the, bro. I could make a whole album like this ASAP. We going through an era where people like, yo, niggas want to hear that shit, bro. Niggas want to hear some shit, bro. It's a new world. It's a new whole. It's happening. It's a new world. Look, some of y'all niggas going to write them lyrics down, put them in the song. Nigga talking about, yeah, that's hard. It's a deal. No, oh, but look, like, 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 we're just going, no, they will play it on the radio. This is what you don't understand. They will play it on the radio. My nigga, I, look, yesterday I was in the car. I had to go somewhere. I was on the road for about 45 minutes and I listened to every song on the radio and I said, this is probably the wildest shit I've ever fully listened to because I don't really listen to the radio. And when I do, I try to calculate the amount of words that's being used and what's being said. And I realized every single song has the same exact words. My bitch, my car, my jewels, my ice, dancing. Diamonds, lit, dope. I had previous court cases. I'm running from the police. 
Fuck the ops. Shoot the ops. It was literally the same lyrics in every single song. Back to 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 back. And I told myself, I don't think the radio, the people at the radio, like I know Justin Incredible, I know Sour Milk, I know DJ Head, I know Chuck Dizzle, I know all these people, the biggest stations in Los Angeles. I know they don't really want to play this. I know they really don't want to play it. They don't. But they got to do what they got to do to get the money to support their family so they're going to play whatever the higher up niggas tell them to play. I understand that. You seen what Ebro them said when they was talking to Freddie Gibbs. They said, man, we would love to play your music during peak hours, but our hands are tied. They said this. They would love to play Freddie Gibbs during peak hour. Ebro and what's the other nigga name? Um, other nigga, they were talking to Freddie Gibbs. They told him they would love to play his music during peak hours, but their hands are tied. Who your hands tied by? Go watch the Ebro. I mean, go watch the go watch the interview right now. Freddie Gibbs and Ebro. Go watch it. It was Freddie Gibbs, Ebro, and Rosenberg. Go watch it right now. They clearly said they would love to play Freddie Gibbs during peak hours, but their hands are tied, which means there's higher up niggas in office telling them what to play and what they can't play and how they can play it. Or so there is more definitely a radio agenda. Now this is my thing. All I'm saying is this: a lot of these rappers are billionaires. A lot of rappers are millionaires, right? My nigga, you know when you turn in the radio and you hear, you go to like 91 point something and there's nothing on that channel? Like, you know how you turn in the radio, you go like 95.7 or something and it's, no, it's like a blank channel. <laughs> Why nigga won't make his own radio station and use that one? Why ain't no, why ain't no nigga create his own radio station? My nigga, is maximum blank channels on the radio. On the set, just go buy a tower or somewhere, nigga, and start your own station. Nigga, 93 point something, nigga, fuck it. <laughs> nigga still trying to get on the radio, bitch? <laughs> nigga said frequency laws on God. They gonna have police pull up. Oh, you're investigating. <laughs> what? Hey, Spider-Man. What, Spider-Man? What? What? What, 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 what? Huggy. You want Huggy? Huggy. Where's your book? Where's your book? Hmm? Where's your book? Look at your book. Look at your book. Zay, what did I tell you? Zay, oh, what'd you tell him? Huh? He's telling me to sit because I don't have to watch. I don't want to do that test. I'm trying to go to sleep. Well, you gotta watch your brother. You got baby duties. Alright, you guys, live room. Hey, live room, big dog. You got baby duties in. Yeah. Hey, you get your butt out of there, Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Mommy, I see the bathroom there. Mm -hmm. Hey, get off the bed. Get off the bed. Hey, yeah, 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 Hey, hello. Say, I'm Spider Man. Bam. Say, I'm Spider Man. Did the dog on my
Where's your book? Where's your book? Let's go get your book. Let's go. Come on, let's go. This way. Come on. Here. Come on. Come on, come get your book. Come on. Come on. Here, come on. Whew. Here. Here, get your book. I know you wanted this one. Here, come on. Here, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Here. Get your book. See? It's this one. Yeah. All right. You gonna read your book or you gonna watch? What you gonna do? Oh, you don't want to read the book.
Hey, son. Look, my son came to just cut this shit off. Look, he put me. Yeah, get this shit out of here. Niggas won't, niggas won't, Earl, I'll give it to him. Niggas want that Earl, I'll give it to him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, you don't wanna give it to him? I give it to him. You don't wanna give it to him? I give it to him. You don't wanna give it to him, Earl? I give it to him. You keep playing. You niggas keep playing. Anywho, let me get back to this nigga. I got some kids to take care of. Hey. I hope you know I'm a black daddy. And I don't allow this happen. Man, yo, get your ass up. I ain't playing with you, homie. Yeah, all right. Man, all that having fit shit, man. Get your ass off the ground. Fuck he thought. That's it. Man, I ain't playing with you. Anywho, let me get back to these babies. Hey, actually, I'm going to reply to some more of those emails about the RV and shit today. So if you get an email back from me, thank you. Uh, Yo, Mike. Mike Wise, if you can, send me that track again. One more time, the one you wanted me on. I got hella free time today to work. Also, uh, White Mike, uh, my computer been down. So as soon as my shit get up, I'm going to most definitely shoot you that video. Other than that. Let's get the world back how we need to get the world. Actually, I'm about to upload this Earl shit to my page, so I'll be back, niggas.